Today I decided I would uh, show you guys a piece of vintage test equipment I own, although it's not one I use very often. This is a Viz Senior Voltomist model WV98C. Uh, this was produced after the Viz Test Instruments Company uh, took over RCA's Test Instruments division. I'm not sure exactly when that happened, and consequently I'm not sure exactly when this set was made. But I uh, went for a Viz branded one instead of an RCA one because it would have a, a lot less years of use on it. This model had been in production for you know several decades, so if you get an older one, you know it may have been uh, used in a shop for 30 years or so. I believe this one's from the 1970s or, or possibly even the 80s. It's in excellent condition though. And it was in use uh, until relatively recently. It was last calibrated in 2004, so 10 years ago. And as you saw a second ago, I do have the matching manual for this. It's uh, definitely nice to have, because unlike a you know digital multimeter, this thing's uh, a little tricky to use. I should mention that VTVM, by the way, stands for Vacuum Tube Voltmeter, and there are uh, two vacuum tubes in this set. Viz did make some solid state VTVMs, but this is not one of them. If you have one of these and you need to know which scales to read, you can just uh, look at this video and pause it on the chart you need. I've got it connected to a battery right now and uh, set to positive DC volts. Since it's a 9 volt battery I've got it set to the 15 volt scale which means that I need to read scale B which is the lower one here, this scale. So that battery's good. Measures a uh, just a little over 9 volts. You have to set the probe to DC, by the way. Make sure you get the uh, probe with the unit and that it's in good shape when you buy one of these because it'll be hard to find a uh, replacement. Unlike a digital meter, you also have to keep zeroing this thing when you change ranges, which is uh, a little bit annoying. So let's switch it over to uh, ohms. And uh, for resistance measurements, it uses an internal uh, D cell battery as like a reference voltage. And that battery, you know, will run down over time. It, it's soldered into place. I uh, replaced that D cell when I got this set, along with the one electrolytic capacitor. Hopefully, uh, if you get one of these, the battery won't have leaked into it. It's a common problem. Alright, so I'll set this to uh, ohms. Let's go ahead and grab that. There we go. Now actually, what you want to do first is a uh, Ground out the probe, make sure it's uh, on zero, and then disconnect it, and make sure it goes to uh, infinity there, and it does, so run the you know, right spot, or have it set up right, rather. And there's only one scale for resistance, thankfully, you just have to multiply it, multiply it by the right factor. So this is a... 330 or whatever ohm uh, resistor. You can also uh, you can also measure AC with this thing, although I'm not going to do that in this video. And you have to let this thing warm up for uh, about two minutes, so the reading stabilizes.
Looks like they were using this thing as a standard. So it probably didn't get much use. I also have another uh, VTVM. This one's a little older and it was a kit. I actually did not intend to buy this uh, VTVM. I received this uh, VTVM by accident in high school. I had bought some other item. I forget what it was now. And uh, the seller sent me this instead. And since it wasn't worth much, it, you know, I said don't bother sending it back. I've got a couple other uh, odd things that I've gotten that way. <laughs> I don't have the original probes for this guy. I made up some, you know, crude ones uh, a while ago, but I'm not sure why I left those. There's a ton of kit built VTVMs available on uh, eBay. It was a popular Heath kit and a bunch of other brands. This is from the Commercial Trades Institute. It's a two tube set just like the other one is. This one does not seem accurate at all. I don't know how good it ever was. You know, that's the problem with kit built things. The previous person may have done a uh, terrible job assembling it. You can usually put them back to the way they should be, but it's one of the pluses of buying something that's you know factory built like this thing. You don't have to worry about that so much. Well, thanks for watching.